An important topic right here in Connecticut, we're raising awareness about human trafficking. Yes, Connecticut's Department of Children and Families wants you to know about the resources that are available. This is such an important issue, and it's very scary to think that it's happening right here in our state, Absolutely. too. Absolutely, and as part of our monthly segments with the Department of Children and Families, Tammy Sneed, that she's the director of DCF Office of Human Trafficking, joins us. I didn't even know there was a human trafficking office in Connecticut. I didn't think we needed it, but it's happening right here in our state. Sadly, yes, it's happening right here in our state, where we have about 300 new referrals every year of child victims. That this, is horrible. This is, is such a absolutely. staggering statistic. National research is showing there's a 98% increase in online attempts by sex traffickers to recruit our kids since 2020. So can you start from the beginning? What do parents need to know about traffickers and these online predators yeah. that we're dealing with? Yeah, so the reality is it can be anyone, and that's what's really scary. And because of the Internet, you saw that increase during COVID, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. sent our kids home to learn, right? right? They oh, couldn't. Yeah. So we gave them technology, we gave them the internet, and those bad actors really picked up their game. And they're on there trying to lure kids in, becoming that best friend, becoming that boyfriend, offering them a job to become the next top model. But they do a lot of groundwork on the internet trying to lure our children in. What age group are we talking in, in particular? Is there a specific age that they're targeting? Uh, they will target any child. The younger to them, the better. Oh. We've sadly seen a decrease in the average age. We're seeing kids as young as 9, 10, um, up to 17. We've had kids much younger than that too, but that tends to be more rare. Mm -hmm. But a lot of kids between 9 and 12, which wasn't the case a few years ago. That's scary. Um, what do you think needs to happen for parents and their kids at this time? You know, we, we cover a lot of, you know, screen time tips and right. things, but it seems as though if, if the age is getting younger and younger, right. where's the lack of communication here so our kids are aware of the predators that are out there? Right. So not only did we send our kids home and give them the technology, we didn't educate our parents, right? right. And they really need to understand internet safety, right? And some of those red flags. We do trainings with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Connecticut regularly. Our next one is on March 20th. Oh, good. Uh, hmm. If you go to DCF Heart H A R T, you will find the um, login information. Is that a to, Wednesday? It's a Wednesday. I think it's a Wednesday. We do it from Wednesday. six to seven thirty in the evening um, to try to get parents after work. Okay. But we have to educate ourselves, right? We have to know how to put certain things on computers and on the phone to protect our children. Exactly. On video games, right? right. Video, video games, games is a now. big area. Yeah. So we will talk about all of that. Um, and it's also about parents understanding red flags. Um, right. You know, that kind of indicates that this may be happening for them. Can you talk about the care line that you have out there? Sure. So when you suspect a child in Connecticut, a victim of trafficking, it is important to call DC Caroline. The other piece, though, is any victim, child or adult, we have the national hotline number as well. Um, and that is available 24-7 across the country. So the reality is victims are not always kept in one place. So that's also an important number. And they call our Caroline if it's a child from Connecticut. So it's a really neat partnership. Oh, wow. that's great. So yeah. it's, and it, it, that's so important that you guys are working hand in hand like that. Uh, it's necessary. And by the way, that, that information was on your screen, 1-800-842-2288. Wonderful. And what is your website again? Remind us. DCF Heart, H-A-R-T, Human Anti-Trafficking okay. Response Team. So Heart. And, uh, you know, it's been going up year after year after year. Hopefully we can put a, a little bit of a stop to it in mm -hmm. 2024. Absolutely. If you have a second, can I give you some other red flags? Yeah, yeah please, please do. So kids that start missing for periods of time, whether missing from school, missing from home, kids that have things of value that you know they can't afford, behavior changes, whether it's more inward behavior or more external behaviors. Um, kids that start to lose a little bit of weight, don't look really healthy, are very, very tired all the time. So really looking for those kind of changes are indicators that it could be trafficking. It's not a definite, but those are things to pay attention to. And when you work with these victims, what is the response and what is the outcome that you've seen? So it is a tough journey for them, yeah. right? They become very bonded to their trafficker. They're very fearful. Oh. Um, so it's a journey for them, but I will tell you, um, with a lot of patience and support and getting adults that are there for them non-conditionally, we see kids come out the other side and be very successful. Good. Good. Tammy Sneed, she's the director of DCF mm -hmm. Office of Human Trafficking. We can't thank you enough for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Tammy. Good thank to you. see you. Keep, the, keep up the good work. Absolutely. All right, All right. Marcy, over to you.